Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today I wanted to talk about The Comedy Book Test by Cody Fisher. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. So I wanted to do a really quick little review. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I've recently started, well, not recently, it's been a couple years now, but I've started doing book tests in my act, specifically Josh Zanman's book test series. Um, but Cody's a good friend of mine, and he thought that I would benefit from having his book test as well. So I decided to go ahead and grab a copy of it, and um, I am actually pretty impressed by it. It's a really cool trick. It's a good utility tool, and I'm going to be putting it in my act for sure. Uh, not only can this book, just this one book, can be used alone, I can also couple it with my Zanman books if I want. I can couple it with other book tests that are out there. And uh, Cody actually teaches you how to read words, or should I say uh, divine words, from other books using this uh, Book of Silly Jokes book test here. Uh, and when I say other books, I mean just any book. You can grab a book off the shelf at home, you can go to the library and pick up a book, you can borrow the books from someone. Uh, it's almost impromptu in a way. Uh, you just need this one book and you can read people's minds from however many other books you want. So. What do you get when you get this? First, you're gonna get the gimmicked book, and you're also going to get a DVD, which is really well produced, that's gonna walk you through Cody's entire act. And stay tuned till the end of this video so you guys can see exactly how Cody does his act. Um, I'm not gonna to talk too much about the act because you guys can just watch it at the end of this video. But essentially, his act is a comedy routine. Uh, Cody wanted to take the book test kind of the next level not just from a magic perspective, but from an entertainment perspective. Uh, he wanted to kind of get rid of all of the weird methods that are out there. You know, the, all right, go ahead and roll a dice. Now add up those numbers. Now deal that many numbers from a deck of cards. And what number did you land on? You landed on the number seven. Okay, go ahead and open to page seven and blah, 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 and all that stuff. He didn't like devious, or not devious isn't the word I'm looking for, um, drawn out methods that were super long, that were really boring, and uh, other book tests that are out there from a presentational standpoint, not a method standpoint, but from a presentational standpoint, he didn't like that they were like, okay, look at a word, memorize that word, and I'm just gonna try to read your mind, and it didn't really have, it didn't really have that entertainment value that he was looking for. Now, of course, the entertainment value is completely subjective, it's completely up to you, how you want to do the book test, and he even talks to you about ways that you can take his book test and customize it for your own personality. But the goal for him to put out this book was simply to put together a five to 10 minute piece of magic that plays big for a comedy act, uh, whether you're doing a comedy club or if you're doing like a corporate gig or whatever, that takes up a good chunk of time in the show, plays big and is nonstop fun and gets a lot of laughs and all that stuff. So you're gonna get the book, you're gonna get the videos, and uh, essentially, the book on its own allows you to divine a word looked at in this book and divine a word looked at in any other book that you'd like. So uh, you're going to be divining the first word on the page in this book, and you're going to be divining the first word on the page in any other book. And like I said, it can be any book. It doesn't have to be gimmicked. It could be a book just off your shelf. So. Um, I can't go into too much detail about this uh, because I don't want to give away the method, but all I can say is I was very impressed by it. It's high quality. Uh, the book is a matte finish, which I really, really like. Um, so it, uh, it feels really nice. Uh, the book looks great. It doesn't look cheesy. It's uh, the, big book, uh, the Big Book of Silly Jokes by Corey Richards. It doesn't look like a magic book. It's even got a barcode and they can, they can flip through it um, and, and gently read the book. It's not 100% examinable. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to hand this out and ask a spectator to examine it because if they do, they might notice something suspicious about it. But um, if you are good with audience management and you can keep control of the book, you can flip through the pages and you can show them, um, you can have them start reading the book. Uh, it's got some funny jokes in it like, what did the mother ghost tell the baby ghost when he ate too fast? Stop gobbling your food, <laughs> right? So like silly dad jokes like that. And um, there's just a lot you can do with this from a comedy standpoint. But like I said, this is more of a tool that you're gonna use 
uh, to kind of enhance your overall effect. So if you're already doing a book test, I recommend tossing this in there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine this with uh, my Zanman books and to kind of build my library because my goal, I think I might've mentioned this before in my Zanman videos, my goal is to have a whole like bookshelf of books for them to choose from uh, that they can grab, they can uh, memorize any word in the page and I could read their mind and tell them what word they're looking for. But also with this, you're going to get some presentational ideas as well, a full routine that's completely already built for you and you can use the routine the way Cody does or you can take the bits and pieces that you really enjoy and do your own version of it. I give Cody's comedy book test five out of five stars. Like I said, really great product. The video tutorial is amazing. Without any further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the video, but before I do, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, reach out to Cody and let him know that you are interested in picking up his comedy book test and that you saw it here at O'Brien Magic. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. So without further ado, Cody Fisher and his comedy book test. Hi guys, Cody Fisher coming to you live from the Magic Estate and I'm very excited to be able to share with you guys Cody Fisher's Comedy Book Test. I've been using this now for quite some time. It never fails to bring the house down. It is in fact a book test and it is in fact funny. I've used it for MC bits, I've used it for family shows, corporate shows, and comedy clubs. If you're looking to add about anywhere from five to ten minutes of solid comedy entertainment to your show, this is the book test for you. Let's check it out. Besides magic, I also do the mind reading. Well, it's not really even mind reading. It's just more like, um, I just body reading. I can tell when people are telling the truth, when people are lying. And it looks like mind reading. I'll give you an example. Uh, hi ma'am, what is your name? Elena. May I, mean, I call you Elena? I can call you like after the show? I can... <laughs> <laughs> Elena seems to have noticed my friendship ring. Don't worry about it. Here we go, Elena. <laughs> He's like, I'm writing that one down. I'm just, 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 just. Oh no, this is my friendship ring. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Elena, Elena, here we go. Elena. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do this, how I tell if people are lying or telling the truth right off the bat here. It's just, it's just a thing I'm just, it's just a thing I can do. So I'm gonna ask you a question, and I would like you to just answer it uh, honestly, yes or no, and I'll be able to tell whether or not you're lying or telling the truth. Fair enough? Okay, oh, here we go. Elena. Right now, at this very moment, do you find yourself physically attracted to me. Excuse me? She's telling the truth, folks. She is telling the Did you call my wife and convince her of that? Please read it. All right, well, no, I like to do a little thing in word divination here. Thinking in word divination. Have several people just think of words, and I'm going to try and get the word that you're merely thinking of. I realized I have this ability, I have had this ability all the way back when I was in college, hanging out in bars and nightclubs. Before I even walk up to a girl, I knew she was thinking no. 100%. So let's try with you all. Let's just go with you. Um, would you be impressed if you thought of any word and I knew the word you were thinking of? Yes. Let's give this a shot. Here we go. Think of any word in the English language. You got it? Would you be impressed if I had that word written on a piece of paper in my back pocket? Yes. What word are you thinking of? <laughs> here it is, right here, Webster's Pocket Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> read minds. I tell you, I'm gonna try to do something. I really will try to read some minds here, and um, to do that. I'm gonna use some books, because over the years I have people think of any word in the entire world, they say things like dog and cat and tree. By using these books here, we're gonna to try to just bring them words here. So, I've got a couple books. I've got my big book of silly jokes, great for bathroom reading. Who's my funny guy? I need a guy to come up on stage here. Who's my funny? You wanna still help, son? No, I don't think so. No. Who's my funny guy? I need a guy to come up here and help me on stage? You can, can you do this? Okay, hold on, just go upstairs. I'll, I'll come back to you in a second. I'll come back to you in a second. Now, I've got two other books here that we're gonna use. Two of the greatest love stories ever conceived, ever written. We have The Notebook. 
Why is your movie? And Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Guys, pay attention to which ladies clap for Fifty Shades of Grey. The Notebook, a book, the Notebook is a book, if you haven't read it, it's a romance novel that reminds us all that our own love lives are just horrible, 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 and no matter how much you love each other, you're going to grow old and die. <laughs> you see it? Who likes this book? I need somebody who can read this book. Somebody who can read a page. Can you read a page this book? Yes. Are you my Notebook girl? Yeah, thanks for enthusiasm. There we go. Take that. Right <laughs> your indifference is killing me. Okay. Uh, and those of you who haven't read Fifty Shades of Grey, this is basically literary porn for women. Yeah. You're my Fifty Shades girl, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who's my Fifty Shades girl? He's my... You're the dictionary girl, aren't you? <laughs> yes? Can you look at this and can you look at this? Okay, can you uh, go ahead and pass that back? And I'm going to ask you to look at a page here in just a second. Okay, where's my funny guy? There's my funny guy. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and thumb through the books and, and just kind of look at the book, make sure it's just as it seems to be. Um, you guys got it? Okay. Funny guy, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ripple through the book just like this. When I, in just a second, I just want you to stop me on a random page, okay? I'm going to go like this. You just say stop. Here we go. Stop. Right here. What page is that? 70. Turn to page 70 in your book. Ma'am, turn to page 70 in your book. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think of the first word on the first line. Go to page 70, look at the first word on the first line of page 70, and just concentrate on that word, okay? Do you have it? She said, hell, I've got the memorized. Okay, here we go. Do you have the word? Okay, you're 50 shades of gray. I'm going to see if I can't get the word that you're thinking of. Here we go. Concentrate on the first letter, the first letter of the word. This is kind of a long word. It's a long word, right? Okay, so it's not like A and D or but. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know. This is this is kind of crazy. I'm, I'm just going to go with this. Is um, is the word you're thinking of start with the letter F? Excuse me. Yes, it does. Okay, um, it does. Is. <laughs> Wow. Uh, is um, is the word you're thinking of? Does it starts with F? Oh, jeez. Does it end in I N G? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I've gotten this word before. Um, what word are you thinking of? A nice loud voice. Say what word you're thinking of. That's what I wrote down. Yeah. Fantasizing, yes! Get that for as a souvenir, and I'll take the book that man. That's not a souvenir. I need that's not a souvenir. <laughs> She's already dog-eared certain pages. That's just really strange there. It's really, really strange. All right, where's my notebook girl? Here we go. All right. You're on your page. You're thinking of the, 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 the first word here. Here we go. Very first word. Here we go. Um, all right. I need that piece of paper back. Yeah, yeah, I need my blank piece of paper back. I've only got a certain amount to write on here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Check it out. piece of paper. Constant. First word. First word. Is it a word or a number? It is a word. Okay. Send it to me. First letter. Is it like a license plate? Like maybe it describes a license plate or something? Or... The first word? Oh, the first word. It's letter F. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for helping. <laughs> Wait, I can do this. It's the first letter F. Yes. No, here we go. It's not what I got, but let me. I'll. I'll show you what I got. You tell me if it makes sense, okay? That's what I got. One two nine L one zero. Is that? Is it close? No. Would you like to see the rope trick? I've got a funny rope trick. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on a second. You okay, I think okay, I think this this has happened once before. Hold, take the little dictionary dictionary girl. Go ahead, take it, take it. Turn 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 to page 129. 129. Take your time, but hurry up. Okay, here we go. 129. There's a right-hand column and a left-hand column. Go to the left-hand column and count and count down ten words. 
Do you have it? Yes. yes. What word is there? What word are you thinking of? Yes! <laughs> you may keep that as a souvenir and I'm going to take this back. I'm going to take this back. All right, where's my funny guy? Where's my joke guy? Where is he? There he is right there, folks. Uh, I bet if we give him a big round of applause, he'll actually join me up here on stage. Come on up here, guys. Come on up here. Hi, what's your name, man? Mark. Mark, nice to meet you. My name is Cody. I bring Mark a little round of applause for coming up here. All right, Mark. Big book of silly jokes. You ever want to be a comedian? There's a mic. There's a book. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Go ahead. It ain't easy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, give me a favor. Go ahead and take the book here. Now you can read without glasses. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do we have to take the book? Open up. Just open up. Don't be see, but open up somewhere in the just somewhere. Just open up the book. Got it? And look at the very first word on the page. Just like we we'll do the very first word. You got it? Okay. Close the book. Excellent. I'll take it back. And I want you to concentrate on that word. But when you concentrate on the word, I want you to think of it in all capital letters. It's just easier to receive capital letters as thoughts. So come stand right over here. And get right over here. Concentrate on the word. Okay? The first letter. The very first letter. I'm getting the impression that the word you're thinking of, the word you're sending me, is um, the first letter. I'm getting the impression of one vertical line mm -hmm. and some horizontal lines. Okay, okay, we're almost there, folks. Let's see. Um, <laughs> go to the last letter. Go to the last letter word. I'm getting the impression of a horizontal line and a vertical line. Yes? Okay, okay. He's sending it strong. Um, is this, is this like a short word? Yes. Yeah. Is there an A in the middle of your word? Yes. There is. Okay, there's an A. Um, I'm just going to go with this. I don't know. This could be it. This may not. I don't know. Let me see. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of yes or no questions. Just answer them honestly, yes or no. Just yes or no. Here we go. Is this, is this something that you do? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is this, uh, is this something that you like to do? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, let me see. Uh, how just 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 give me a number. How often would you say you do this? Four times a month. Four times a month. <laughs> Can I explode? <laughs> All right, just kind of straight. Now, um, is this something that you normally do with someone and when you're alone? With someone. Um, taking a step further here. Uh, is this is this the kind of thing that you would say typically do on a first date? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> Uh, when you do this, do you associate this action with like uh, like certain like smells? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Now this last thing's gonna make sense to you. And I want you to be honest. Um, when you do this, can it sometimes get kind of messy? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very, very messy. Here we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. Hold this up just like this. Uh, tell everybody here for the first time. Did I get the words you were thinking of correct? Yes, give him a big one of applause. What word do you think of? Eat. Eat, show him. Eat! Yes! Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much.